Okay, welcome to part six of the Kreiter traditional drawing and blender screencast. So we've got to Kreiter, open it up with this logo here, opens a new, creates a new document. You can name your doc, document if you want, width 3508 by 4960, resolution 300 dpi, which is basically uh, an A3 format. So I'm going to create that very quickly. It takes a while, it's a big sheet. Um, I'm going to add a new layer there, and add another layer there. And we'll see why in a minute. Finals, I'm going to go to the final render, drag it here, insert this new layer. This layer I'm going to drag it up <clears throat> to the top. So now this layer is above here. Now I'm going to go to the drawings that we did in the last lesson. And um, this one. So I've optimized it, I've made it straight, and that sort of thing in, in um, another software called GIMP or GIMP, which is free as well. So I drag it here, insert as a new layer. So it inserts as a new layer. You can't see the background. So we go to layer properties and we make it into multiply. Multiply is usually good. So it makes the background pretty much transparent. We can move it around. It's a bit, it's not matching the background here. So what I'm going to do is scale it, just adjust some of the, the width and the length using this freeform scale tool. So, okay, so I'm just going to pick that up there. Can't really see the back. You can slightly see the background. Rendered background. Okay, so that goes there. Take that down to about there. I'm doing this very roughly just for the, this demonstration, and then later on I'll do it more precisely. Okay, so, just for the purpose of this screencast, let's do that. Takes a while to work out. Shows you here. All right, so that's basically it. And go to the layer below that we created, layer three. And you can here's your color. So it's black at the moment. We want to change that. Um, go to rainbow colors and add any color. For example, gold. So a nice gold color. Like this. <clears throat> Say if you want these elements here, a gold for example. So you make sure you've got this picked. Paint with brushes. Go to brush. Choose your brush. So for example, we could choose. I don't really know. Airbrush. No, not airbrush eraser because that's an eraser. This one is airbrush linear. Airbrush pressure. Let's try this one. It's all the process of trying different things. So we've got the opacity is good, and we just paint it in. And as you can see, it's painting under the black, because this layer has the layer property of multiply, and under it is a normal layer. So that's a really cool way to do things like that. So you can just paint and paint and paint away, like so. And um, for those of you that have bought it, um, you'll see the time lapse next. And the time lapse will show you exactly what I do. Um, if you don't have the time lapse, it's okay because the next, the, the one after the time lapse, I'll talk about some things as well. So if you don't have the time lapse, you'll still see some things. Um, just one tip: if this, if you still got grainy bits here, you can rub it out like so. So you can do a bit of editing like that to make the colors more clear. So that's basically it.
I'll just repeat the process with the biosphere. And then I'll stop this tutorial. So you have a good idea now how to import your traditional drawing photographs or scans, black and white ones, and overlay your 3D renders. So again, I'm going to go to File. It's a ping this time. PNG, insert as layer. So it inserts that nicely. Go back. Go to Draws. This one. Actually, before I do this again, and then you create a new layer, it makes it easier. This one. Insert as new layer, so insert as a layer on top. Obviously, again, it means shifting around using this tool. Transform layer selection. But again, for this purpose, this, the purpose of this short tutorial, I'll just drag it down here very quickly and go to this layer and just quickly paint to show you that. Whoops, that's black. It's gone back to black. Just go choose any color very quickly. Okay, so there we go. So we're painting a blue underneath. So that's great. And um, just going to develop now with the time lapse. If you haven't bought that version, go to the next the next one on YouTube and whatever you're watching it on, and um, you'll see me talking about the results. Um, it's looking quite nice with this um, photograph. It's quite retro, you know, these colors. Anyway, I'll talk about that later. Um, so be sure to tune in um, to the next tutorial or check out my website www.jamesableart.com for more tutorials, this YouTube channel, and also check out my website for um, some of my artwork as well. All right, um, speak later. Bye.